Hey guys, Logan here. Great to see you. At EA Play yesterday, DICE introduced us to the next Battlefield 1 DLC. This Russian DLC, in the name of the Tsar, will include a lot of awesome stuff like 6 new maps, new weapons and new vehicles. But before we dive into all those great news, the Call to Action mission is ongoing right now. Play and win 3 matches of operations between June 10 and June 18th. Your reward for doing this will be the bronze dog tag and a squad XP boost. Okay, over to the rest of the video. Okay, here we have the new maps. First up is the Lupkov Pass. The description reads, fight in the snow covered ravines of the treacherous Lupkov Pass. Against this dramatic backdrop, the vertical fight are as bitter as the cold. I'm looking forward to fight in the snowy ravines. We have seen this vertical fighting style before in Verdun Heights, and I think it works very well. Okay, the second map, Albion. Partake in the skirmishes of the Albion assault in a freezing archipelago. In this massive invasion of the Baltic Peninsula, the German Empire attacks with infantry, dreadnoughts and aircrafts against the heavy coastal gun batteries of the Russian forces. Sounds badass to me. Okay, the third one is called Galicia. In the midst of the epic Brusilov offensive, the Russian Empire is fighting to push back the Austro-Hungarian forces in the Russian countryside. Take on an open map focused on infantry, cavalry and light vehicles. If you look at this picture, it kinda reminds me of Giant Shadow, except this one looks a little brighter, a little lighter. Yeah, looks good. The fourth and the last one we know of is the Brusilov Keep. Inscription reads, the Russians have pushed their enemy into a small mountain town, but the Austro-Hungarians are making a strong stand. Experience close quarter fights by the Carpathians on the infantry focused map. These are the four new maps in the DLC that we know of, but history has more in store for the Russian army. There are two extra maps coming with this DLC, so a total of six new maps. Next up we have a new game mode called Supply Drop that has been introduced into Battlefield 1 DLC. Here you will join a fast paced fight for supplies on the Eastern Front as planes airdrop everything you need to outgun and outscore your opponents. This sounds really fun, I can't wait to try this out. And a new epic operation is also added with this new DLC. And of course I will get in some new weapons as well, including the Russian weapons like Mosin Nagant, M91, some new melee weapons, and the Russian standard 1912 grenade. But more details on all these weapons coming soon. Some new vehicles have been introduced as well. A new type of bomber plane, Ilya Muromets heavy bomber. Judging by the look of this aircraft, it sure looks very badass. And a new type of armored car, the Putilov Garford heavy armored car seems to have some heavy firepower and that always comes in handy. And some sort of landing craft called the Wylighter landing craft. I think that's some kind of a boat. More info on this in other videos, but this is going to be awesome. You know the cavalry we have got already, but now it looks like the legendary Hussar cavalry is making his way onto the battlefield. Master all the new lance and evolved horse movement. I'm very excited about this one, especially the lance. The lance were seen in the trailer. I want to know how it works in game. You have to wait and see. We are of course going to get a lot more goals to complete in forms of medals, ribbons, dog tags and other assignments. I think we have a busy time ahead of us. Always fun to have goals to complete. And every time a new mission is ongoing I will inform you on my channel. So stay tuned for every mission and every assignment. Okay, that's it for today. You can expect more videos soon with even more news surrounding Battlefield 1, and especially the new DLC. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and are you new to the channel? Make sure to click that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up to support the channel, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Hope to see you in my next video. This is Logan, signing out.